You stick out like a sore thumb around here. You sure you're in the right place? Yeah. So far this has gone exactly as expected. Poorly. But with the work you've done for NCR already, you might be just what I've been looking for. We captured an honest-to-God centurion of Caesar's legion recently. Better believe it. Everybody. Everybody in Caesar's legion from Caesar on down will kill themselves before they can be captured. They're so twitchy they'd probably do it if you reached out to hug them. But here's this guy, who's an elite commander in their army and he just gives himself up, even as his men are slitting their own throats around him. Well, I don't know about you, but to me that sounds like a man who's willing to cooperate. Except he hasn't. Only times he speaks up are to insult you. He's a real prick, by the way. And I'm supposed to get information out of this guy. I like the way you think. Have I said that yet? Problem is that the NCR frowns on using that sort of tactic. There are some restrictions still in place from President Tandy's administration. But here's my favorite thing about you. You're not in the NCR. Plus, for all this guy knows, you're completely insane. That's a winning combination. I think if you rough him up enough, and really put some fear into him, he'll sing like a choir boy. So let's do this. When you're ready, I'll go in and give you a little intro. Then I leave the room, and you make him regret the day he was born. We go back and forth a couple times until either he talks or he can't move his jaw anymore. Either way, we've had our entertainment for the day. That's the spirit. Okay, I'll go in and have a word with him. Then I'll call you in. Long time no see, Silus. Lieutenant. I was just thinking about you. That's so. I was. I was just thinking about that pretty neck of yours. How sweet. I was thinking about how it would look with a Legion slave collar on it. I'll pass. Do you know what I love about our slave collars, Lieutenant? If you love them, maybe you should try one on. I love how tightly they fit. I train my men to make sure the slave's flesh bulges a bit around the top and bottom. Know why? It's all the rage in fashion circles? Not quite. If you fit it just right, their body never gets used to the feeling of wearing it. It cuts in just enough when they swallow or turn their head to remind them who they belong to. And it's that constant reminder that keeps them docile. In that case, maybe you'd better save the collar you were gonna give me. Oh? For whom? For a friend of mine you're about to meet. My friend isn't very docile. And who is this friend of yours? You know all the rules the NCR instituted to protect enemy prisoners of war? Of course. My friend doesn't. Oh, and Silus, if you resist at all, I'll personally blow your brains out. Come on in, he's all yours. I'll be back in a bit to see how you're getting along. And I'll need you to surrender your weapons before you go in. You can pick them up from the locker on your way out. What an ugly little worm you are. What pile of excrement did the lieutenant pluck you from, worm? Kaisar's eyes truly are everywhere. And here I thought they'd send assassins instead. Did the officer send you? I know of only the one other, though I wouldn't be surprised if there were a great many. I don't know what name he goes by here, but I saw him when they brought me in, and I recognized him. When I saw him last, it was ages ago. He was training to be an agent of Kaisar's Frumentari. Apparently he passed the trials. And what a job he's done to achieve such a rank. I have no doubt he'll deliver a crippling blow to the NCR while he's here, perhaps many. I have heard that he's been radioing high-level NCR intelligence back to Kaisar's camp virtually every night. But never mind that now, we don't have much time. If you can get me a weapon, the rest will be easy. In the hall outside, they still have my possessions and a locker. There's a gun in there that should be small enough to get past the lieutenant. When she comes back, I want you to go and get it for me. Simple enough. Good. 
But for her to trust you to re-enter the room, she'll need to believe you've been doing what she expects of you. You'll need to punch me until I'm bleeding and weak. Go on, this is nothing compared to the Legion's training. You can stop for a sec. No, easy. You're supposed to rough him up a little, not kill him. Why don't you step outside a minute? Let off some steam. Nice job. I think my friend doesn't like you, Silus. I don't know how much longer I can keep him under control. You think this will make me talk? A beating? This is the best you can do? Not just any beating, Silus. A savage beating. A beating that you'll be reminded of every time you feel pain from now on. When my friend's done with you, you won't have any of your teeth left. You'll be drinking your food through a straw. Your ribs will never heal properly, and it will hurt every time you breathe. It'll be like your collars, Silus. Impossible to forget. Go to hell. Huh. Not the sort of wit I've come to expect from you, Silus. You're getting nothing from me. I'm getting entertainment. That's something. So what's it gonna be? Are you gonna spill your guts to me? Or am I gonna let my friend the maniac back in here for some playtime? See, loose. Silent treatment, huh? Have it your way. Come on back in. I think he misses you. Oh, and let me check you for weapons one more time. For your safety as well as his. Got it. Good. Give it to me. I'm going to pretend to be unconscious. Let them send you out so no one suspects you. When I'm alone with a guard, I'll shoot him and leave in his uniform. Poor guy. He's all tuckered out. Well, I guess we'll have to pick up where we left off tomorrow. Good work. I'm sure he'll have had enough after a few days of this. Or, if we're lucky, a few months. I'll get someone in here to clean up the mess he made. You can head out for the day. Let's let him sleep. Mind cleaning up our mess, Corporal? 